Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survival Russia. I am working on the roof as you can see. But this video is not about the roof. Sadly enough, we're gonna get to that. But the video here is on this PowerTag E9R flashlight that I have forgotten to upload. So why not uh, just uh, upload it and uh, it's you can say good long-term review because uh, the video is from November last year or something and the footage from the, from the video is even older and I'm still using the flashlight. It's a really good, great flashlight. I will say. So check the links in the description and check the pinned comment because there's gonna be a 15% uh, discount code to PowerTech. So uh, yeah, it's my buddy Steve over on the PowerTech who, uh, who wrote me. It's gonna be 15% uh, uh, discount code. So uh, check them out. It's a real good flashlight. I can vouch for that. We're gonna take a look at this little uh, PowerTech E9 RG4 flashlight. This flashlight has been my uh, EDC for uh, quite a few months, almost the whole summer and uh, fall here. Super awesome, unique flashlight actually with some awesome features because, you know, just like my knives, I use my knives every day, I use my flashlights every day, I will be using flashlights every day, at least for the next four or five months, right? So I actually know what makes a good flashlight and I do also know what makes a good knife. This little guy here is super awesome. It, uh, it's not too big, it's not too small. You can do almost everything with it and uh, I'll show that in the video here. But uh, what I want to say is that uh, PowerTech, they're really, really nice guys. That's one thing I can say about them. The other thing is I can say that they're US owned, US based, out of North Carolina. They have a super awesome lifetime warranty system which they in themselves call the industry leading. And they have a US based customer support team. So it's not like some uh, customer support elves flying around out on the interwebs. It's US based and they'll get back to you on, uh, on uh, personal messages even and uh, fix whatever issues you have. This I already know myself. <laughs> the video is uh, yeah, it's a few months old, but uh, yeah, I didn't manage to upload it until now. So be sure you head over to PowerTag Steve and the guys and uh, show them some love from Survivor Rush and say hello from me. We're in one of the adjoining buildings here. We have some old, some old uh, wool, barrels, old jackets, bottles. Da da da. And a little pocket here for the flashlight, the E9 from PowerTech. That's an awesome light as well. We saw some bear tracks earlier. And then we have another one, front pole. I think that's the rear. See, not that small. Not super big. But nonetheless a midweight. Recorded with a Sony camera. And a PowerTech E9R flashlight. See, we have some more here. So we'll just do it here on the hood comes in this box here, we have all sorts of data on it and so on. I'll leave a description link, a link in the description, so to speak, <laughs> to, to uh, the details of this little guy here. But this is the box it comes in. We have a little, uh, we have a little envelope here with some stuff. We have a belt clip. It's a super solid belt clip. Here we have the charging cord, and you have, and you can see it's magnetic, and that is actually super, super awesome. So one of the neat features of this light here is that we have a magnetic charger here, right? It sits right there, or it goes right there. So we put it on there, and it will charge. This little guy here will light up blue, and the light will also light up, so you can see it's actually charging. But what is pretty neat is that uh, if you orientate the clip here to fit into the slot, we can charge it while having it on our belt. And I would say, especially if you're a law enforcement guy, this is of course pretty useful because if you have to get out of your car in a hurry, they just come apart, no problem. It's not like you're gonna rip off your USB device and uh, yeah, break your wire or maybe even break the, the USB thingy but the reason i'm calling it a usb is we can actually remove this little guy here this little magnetic contact we can uh, insert a ball pen or something like this 
and carefully wriggle, wiggle, wiggle this guy out. And then, Bob's your uncle, we have a regular mini USB charger. First off, we have the on-off switch here, but this is not an on-off switch like most other flashlights where you have to, you know, toggle through all the modes on this contact here, because that is not awesome. We have another little guy here, which, if we turn on the light, you can see that, right? Then it will bring us through the different modes. So if the light is not turned on, if you just hit this little side button here, it will go directly on strobe at about uh, 790 lumens, which is pretty, pretty darn tough. I actually scared the crap out of the kids one night. I was over here and they were over there and I just strobed them for, for the fun of it. And they ran crying into the house. It was not so awesome, but yeah, this is what it is. But if we turn it on, it's turned on now, right? We hit this little button up here and hold it in for about a second and it will go straight to strobe without holding the button in or anything like that. We'll push the button again and it'll go to fly, firefly mode. And then from there we can toggle our way through. I said I'm a heavy flashlight user. I use them almost every day except from the midsummer where we almost do not have any night. But soon we're not almost not gonna have any day. So I'm gonna use a lot of flashlights and headlamps and so on. But it's not always I have my headlamp with me. And the cool thing about this clip here, yeah, it's a clip, it's a clip, it's a clip, right? But it's a pretty, pretty strong, strong, positive clip. And what I normally do is, if I can find it, yeah, I can find it, is that uh, if I have to do something with two hands, I just mount it on the cap here and do whatever I do. And it's not falling anywhere, it sits pretty nicely. I had to try the other lights when they start to hang and so on the clip and it's not so awesome. It's a really, really strong clip. You can only use a turbo mode with the 1865 650 battery, 18650 battery. You can also use uh, CR123 batteries, but uh, that, that, that they're not gonna handle the turbo mode. But the turbo mode works for, I think it's 2.2 hours. All right guys, so before we end this video here, uh, there's something I want to show you. I want to show you the Firefly mode, which is uh, the awesome, very, very low light mode on the E9R. Mr. Survival Russia is lighting me up at the moment with the E9R and the medium setting. But let's take a look at the Firefly mode. It's super awesome. So here we have the Firefly mode. We are having a very, very low light here. I doubt that this uh, light here will actually um, disturb the, the night vision. But you can, of course, also always use the old Spessner's trick just to use one eye. But uh, you can see, a very small survival manual if we've forgotten how to, to make our, our shelter. It's like this is the size of my hand, right? Small book, very small book. This is what the Firefly can do for us on an A4. You can see it can hardly, it can, it can light up an A4. But uh, yeah, very, very low light. Firefly mode, which is super awesome. It's not gonna destroy your night vision. I'm pretty darn sure. So guys, please check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome, and see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>